so uh, i'm uh, today i'm going to uh, present you on a simple topic uh, very basic topic uh, professional grooming and etiquette so we will be covering uh, the importance of professional grooming and uh, i'll be providing you some uh, tips for uh, improving our uh, professional uh, grooming uh, etiquettes okay so let's uh, understand what professional grooming actually means and what is its importance so professional grooming is always uh, an important factor in achieving con uh, considerable confidence uh, so which helps in uh, helps us in uh, effective communication so grooming is preparing ourselves uh, and prep uh, appearance uh, prep uh, grooming is actually preparing our appearance through dressing cleansing and self care okay personal grooming and etiquette are all about presenting uh, oneself in the best possible manner a well groomed person uh, always makes a positive impact on others and uh, if you are if you are groomed properly uh, it may create a negative impact on uh, others uh, so it may affect our work okay uh, so uh, these are the three basic elements of grooming uh, first one is basic hygiene uh, second dressing and the mannerism uh, we show in our office office or workplace okay. so we'll start with uh, personal hygiene so personal hygiene is the most important aspect of personal uh grooming um uh, it's most important factor that we should have a hygiene uh, rot routine hygiene process so i'll be uh, sharing you some tips for improving your personal hygiene uh, first one is to keep yourself clean uh, and to have a good uh, smell or odor uh, basically it's uh, simple that uh, you should have a habit of uh, bathing um so how many of you uh, had a bath today can you raise your hand okay cool uh, most of us uh so it's uh, basically our basic um habit to have a bath uh so without that uh, we'll be having a uh, body order and while we are in workplace it will be discomfort for others to be habitual with us okay uh, and we, second thing is you should use a, a good uh, perfume it's uh, okay to use perfume but it should be a mild perfume uh, not so uh, much uh, not so much high uh, intensity on so that uh, we, it it affects our others okay uh, we should maintain a healthy uh, teeth uh, or gums and have a fresh breath uh, our nails should be uh, trimmed properly and it should be shaved okay uh, and yeah uh, we, as we follow in accord uh, we should have a clean environment and workplace uh it's uh, it should be a part of our daily ha cleanliness habits so uh, we usually clean our uh, office space uh that should be a habit and it's uh, it's actually a part of professional um, maintaining and professional uh, hygiene okay. okay then um uh, after having our lunch uh, we should clean the place where, where we are having our lunch and having a bin habits uh, basic bin habits like uh, we should segregate so uh, waste food waste and uh, paper or plastic waste uh, other sides uh, and yeah uh, the most important thing about having a personal hygiene is about uh, we should not spread uh, infectious disease and all 
so in these recent years uh, we are affected with the covid and we are all we are all following uh, by using following hygiene by using mask and sanitizers etc so personal uh, hygiene is an important factor of personal grooming uh, okay. second one is dressing the way we dress uh, is act, uh, it's always an important thing uh, it's um, it present ourselves to someone else when we are meeting someone for the first time it gives an impression uh, to others about us ourselves okay uh, uh, i'll give some tips on how to maintain our dressing for okay we should dress uh, in a manner that uh, based on look uh, occasion different occasions we should dress appropriately uh, for office it should be an you know, formal dressing uh, with light color dressings and light and neutral colors okay we should make uh, make sure that the dress is not wrinkled it, it should be properly ironed uh, and um, the upper like if, if you are using a shirt and a pants it should match uh, the color code should match okay uh, we should avoid worse and stained clothes uh, it's not a uh, professional to wear a stained cloth okay uh, uh, then we should have to tuck in our dress properly keep your pockets em empty and avoid keys and coins in the pockets uh, basically i don't use phones or uh, wallet uh, in my pockets while having a professional dress dressing so uh, we should have, have to keep, keep that in mind while we are having a professional uh, dressing uh, okay uh, we should keep uh, attention to our uh, foot wear if it's if it is shoe it should be uh, it should be polished and yeah uh, it should be changed according to the occasion of um, uh, of where we are okay if it is a workplace uh, we mostly use a formal shoes and that's all for uh, and some tips for uh, where uh, similar tips for women is like uh, you should uh, you should uh, minimize uh, not like minimize uh, you should ha have actually have have to wear a, a minimum makeups uh, it should not be much uh, vibrant okay and uh, try to avoid uh, most jewel jewels okay jewelries and about hair uh, it should be um, out of your face uh, the hair style should be uh, proper but uh, we should try seeking a ponytail or a bun it will be good uh, and for men uh, we should have to trim our hair uh, to keep a short hair short hair in a tidy manner Uh, for a facial hairs it is uh, always uh, necessary to be trimmed properly uh, it should be maintained neat neatly and if we have uh, patchy beards it's better to be shaved fully shaved clean shaved okay so let's move on to next uh, it's manners and business ethics so there are some manners uh, which we have to follow Uh, while we are in a uh, workplace uh, is is the third uh, aspect of uh, element of uh, professional grooming sorry uh, okay some basic uh, workplace etiquette sir um okay uh, greet others with a smile um, most of us uh, while entering into office we don't uh, mind each other so this is a this should be an habit of her to uh, interact with others and uh, greet while uh, for meeting in the morning we should say a good morning and have a, a smile on your face okay. uh, we should value others times have a positive attitude towards uh, what others are saying uh, we should have a firm handshake uh, while we are in a meeting uh, while we are entering into a meeting or something 
okay we should maintain the proper eye contact uh, we should have a proper com uh, communication channel and maintain good language uh, most of us use uh, informal language while communicating with, with our mentors uh, that should be avoided uh, with formal languages more uh, precisely uh, more english words okay uh, we should maintain our tone of communication uh, it should be not uh, it should not be so arrogant uh, to others we should not feel arrogant to others for example, if you want to make someone leave our space, we can either ask uh, ask them to uh, simply ask them to uh, leave by requesting leave. Can you please leave the hall? Or we can say get out. It's uh, the tone matters actually. Okay. Uh, then keep your workplace clean and tidy. Make sure that uh, we, when we leave, we switch off the uh, lights and ACs and all. These are uh, basic etiquettes that are to be uh, followed in the workplace. Uh, and while in a meeting, uh, we should have to carry ourselves uh, proper devices for noting down uh, the important points in the meetings. And make sure that our phone, uh, mobile phone is in a DNT mode, do not disturb mode. Uh, and uh, when someone is speaking, uh, try not to inter interrupt in between. Uh, we can use uh, excuse or excuse me or sorry to interrupt you, like these words, to interrupt someone. It's uh, not uh, etiquette. It's not uh, a good practice to break someone's uh, break someone when he is talking. But uh, we can interrupt by using the words. Using using these words, okay. Uh, so these are three basic elements of business ethics. As I said, this is a very small topic, uh, and uh, the, but it is an important topic uh, that we should uh, follow. Uh, okay, uh, I'm concluding my topic. Uh, uh, so I'm uh, concluding my today's uh, today's session on professional grooming. I hope that everyone understood the importance of proper grooming and